Hello, hello. Uh, my, uh, my name is uh, Vlada and um, I am uh, the CEO and founder of Clastag. Um, hi everybody. Uh, very excited to be here today and uh, we have an amazing topic and something that we get asked for all the time um, as a um, parent uh, teacher communication and parent engagement platform we always get questions about what are the messages that uh, teachers should be sharing with parents, uh, what are some best practices, and uh, really, I think this this really is a big is a big question because uh, while there are a lot of um, a lot of things that you could be doing in your classroom community to build partnership to engage uh, parents, um, organizing activities, volunteers. Uh, Etc. But messages is something that's very actionable, very easy to get going on. And uh, really, what we wanted to do is to look at all the all the various classrooms that we have across various parent communities, and really find out what are those teachers doing that are um, really super successful. Those that manage to get 100% of parent participation, uh, manage to get great community, great feedback going for them. And uh, that's essentially what uh, I wanted to share uh, with you so you can learn, uh, learn from uh, those experiences. And uh, really, I think what is, what is revealing is that um, sending a message um, is a very simple action uh, that uh, one could take. And um, um, you, can, uh, you can get started right away. So uh, what we've done is looked at uh, 100 most engaged classrooms and really went in and uh, looked at the types of messages that are being sent that are very well received and that really contribute to um, amazing engagement and community in those classrooms. So um, what is what is the message number one? Um, and the message number one is your child has successes that we can share. and. Uh, this is really important. Um, one one trick that a teacher recently shared with me is that as she looks across her class um, and she knows that there are some kids that are going to be trouble later on, she starts with those parents reaching out and sharing a positive message uh, right away before she will need to share some um, some potentially uh, developmental areas later on uh, about their behavior or whatnot. And so she proactively um, makes sure that she gets in touch with those parents ever before, uh, before, uh, before it all begins. Um, and um, I think another, another thing that's um, often misunderstood, and um, I, I think I'm guilty of it myself as a parent, uh, is when you get a message from school, um, you generally assume that some that's trouble, that's something you need to uh, to fix, or there is something that's going on that um, that needs your attention. And this is why reinforcing those positive messages is still uh, such a big, big uh, difference. If you're just tuning in. Uh, please uh, let me know where uh, where you're joining from um, and uh, what uh, what grades you teach um, and uh, I'll uh, I'll keep going um, again then message number two uh, share the uh, share the successes um, and uh, that you can share with parents um, and it can be really quick from something the par the child just sat in the classroom to uh, to something more elaborative, uh, but uh, the key key difference is really positivity and making sure that there are those ad hoc moments uh, that parents um, can see. Excellent. Hi, Rebecca. Welcome. Um, and um, so uh, the first message um, is followed by the second one, which is um, really your child has light bulb moments you should know about. Um, and this is really key because a lot of times we as parents don't understand what really, what is that magic that's happening in the classroom and how the child is learning. And any sort of window 
uh, into that is really key uh, in helping us understand how we can best support that at home or on the go. Uh, and uh, if it's uh, really a maybe a chart uh, that um, kids were working on and you can take a picture and share that on uh, whatever tools you're using um, or uh, if it's uh, really um, something that you can just post. If you're using tools like class tag, you can just post uh, those light bulb moments and um, even share some funny feedback or some things that you're discussing in the class at that point. Um, so, uh, so far we talked about two messages, right? The one, share successes, and the second one is about learning process or light bulb moments. Um, so moving on to the third one, uh, which, is, um, which is really great. Every time you go on a field trip or you travel somewhere with the class, of course it's important to share some pictures with parents so, uh, you know, uh, they they can feel that they are part of it even if they can't volunteer, um, and uh, really I think it's great if there is a short message that goes with that, uh, maybe highlighting some questions that uh, that parents can ask or anything uh, that uh, that's key to that experience, so they can feel that they can have a meaningful conversation about it at home. Uh, excellent. Yes. Uh, Awesome, Rebecca. <laughs> uh, fantastic. So, um, going uh, going to number four. So, number four is uh, you can help your child learn by, and so this one is really um, is really important. In particular, as you're starting a new topic or a topic where you know that a lot of children are struggling with um, and you want to help families best support them at home and uh, and guess what uh, parents uh, parents don't really know much about how to do it either they went to school a very long time ago or uh, they might have uh, been brought up in a different country and English is not their native language and they need those uh, tips and tricks um, as to um, as to how uh, how to help their uh, their kids uh, these days there are tons of apps and I know that teachers who actively use class tag they even uh, share those resources and I think it's fantastic for parents to always know if let's say you're looking to, to help your emerging reader or um, you're just starting a new topic on math sentences or whatnot um, helping parents know what are some simple things they could do uh, to support them or some of the resources that they can um, go to um, should they should they have questions uh, from home. Um, so I'm on to number five. Uh, number five is um, um, questions uh, to ask your child. Um, we all know the dreaded um, answer that um, kids give to a question uh, what um, what happened at school and everyone says nothing or it was okay um, how do you get out of it and of course there are certain strategies with uh, not asking yes or no questions and um, as you all know and use in the classrooms uh, as they um, you know but what was the best part about your day or why why do you enjoy that specific topic or a certain experience and, and so that really opens the door for a lot of conversations that otherwise will not happen. So if you are learning uh, something in a classroom or just um, have, um, have a moment sending an announcement uh, or a message to, to parents with, uh, with some um, ideas about questions to ask. And I know uh, my daughter's teacher actually uh, did something like this uh, recently um, where uh, the first graders were writing, um, writing letters to, uh, to their friends in the third grade. And it was um, fantastic that she shared that experience with, with, with the parents and she um, asked, uh, asked, asked for some conversation starters and proposed that and it was a fantastic a really in-depth uh, discussion uh, about what was surprising about third graders to a first grader and 
um, how this whole experience went. So that's certainly working. I can tell you that from uh, from my personal experience and what I see a lot of the top engaged teachers do on class tag, where they really um, send a variety of messages across um, across uh, sort of both academics, social experiences, as well as helping parents ask questions to be conversation starters at home. Um, all right, so moving on to number six. Uh, this is really an interesting one. Um, the, the key here is um, we are all extremely busy, um, and um, you can uh, hear the sirens behind me. It's New York City, which is crazy, but I know uh, every one of you in the classroom is insanely busy, and um, so are parents. Um, and um, what are you know really the things that we could do um, as parents to best support our our learners uh, and the, in their journey? And um, what is really key to it is uh, doing things on the go. Uh, many times it's very hard to find time uh, to sit down and um, you know do the homework and. Um, and really be there continuously when you just got back from work and uh, frankly you're tired and um, you just uh, want to get dinner and uh, do other things and, and that's just the reality of it and so um, sharing ideas about some things that parents can do on the go if they go to supermarket you know um, let the kid put uh, things in the cart and count them or uh, figure out what the prices are or um, variety of different things that um, really are happening in everyday lives of families and giving ideas uh, for what those things are. I don't know, Rebecca, if you're still here, if you like it, please click the heart. <laughs> and uh, we'll keep going to the next. If you're just tuning in, uh, please let me know where you're calling from. Would love to hear from you. Um, all right, so we are going to the next one. This is a simple one. This one is thank you. When, uh, when parents participate in uh, various classroom activities, school activities, they uh, maybe go out of their way to, uh, to let you know about certain things uh, that are important for the student to, um, for you to know about the student. Uh, just say thank you, and I think simple uh, message of appreciation is really important and encouraging as it is for students, it is for parents, knowing that the efforts are appreciated and well received. Um, so moving on to number eight, we only have three left, um, and they are really great. Um, so number eight is your child is heard in my classroom. Um, it's really important not only to uh, to share the special moments and of course victories and um, but it also is is key to share um, to share that uh, the child is being heard and if they are struggling with something knowing uh, that um, um, knowing that they are um, that they are that you see some of the challenges and you proactively reach out to parents and talk about how you can co together help help the child. Uh, if the child shares some frustrations, letting the parent know that you've heard, uh, you've heard him or her and you're there to help. Um, and uh, that's, that's certainly a big one um, as well. Um, I see Rebecca sharing that uh, weekly update. Um, for parent appreciation, yes, that's fantastic. Are you using? Um, are you talking about the automated one that says "thank you for volunteers," or you are including that as a custom message? Just curious. All right, while you keep typing, <laughs> I'll move on. Uh, but essentially, what ClassTag helps you do is it takes all the activities. Uh, that are scheduled for next week and it uh, puts them all together in a beautiful weekly summary and then you can um, you can type a custom message and then what class tag does automatically 
um, it actually thanks the parents who have uh, volunteered the previous week. Um, and that's really, um, that doesn't necessarily replace any custom thank you you want to say, but this is really a time saver and it automatically tracks who those parents were and it's a great personal touch. Yes, exactly, my words and your words. Uh, awesome, Rebecca, thanks for sharing. Um, all right, um, number nine. Number nine is about um, letting the parents know that uh, you understand uh, their situation and their context. Um, a lot of times uh, parents don't show as much support and don't show up to as many things because uh, they are, they're busy, or maybe there is something happening in their life that just is too, too challenging right now. And I think understanding their context and a little bit about them is really uh, goes a long way in putting yourself in their shoes and understanding how, how you can best communicate. If you're just uh, tuning in, please let me know where you're joining from and put those likes. Excellent. Um, all right. Uh, so what uh, what we are seeing um, from um, from number nine, right, in terms of understanding parent context, what is really great is um, in some of these hundred classrooms that are super engaged. Uh, well, thank you for the heart. Uh, what we've uh, what we've seen is that some teachers start really actively using parent interest and really. Uh, not only to figure out where they can get the next photographer or someone to come and talk about, uh, let's say, their writing skill, if they're a journalist, or uh, various things of that nature, but really be a conversation starter with some parents who, with whom you perhaps don't have a personal contact yet. And so if those parents have shared interests on Class Ag, uh, or otherwise you uh, over time get to know them and get some information it's really important that you build this personal connection with them person to person so to say um, all right um, and uh, finally we are at number 10 uh, number 10 is I'll work with you and here's how uh, this one is um, is is important um, and we talked a little bit um, uh, in some of the other messages about how uh, how understanding sort of uh, the learning process and uh, making sure the child is heard is really critical for um, uh, for successful partnership and ultimately student success. And so in this case, um, proactively reaching out to a parent if the student is in trouble, uh, or ideally before he is in, he or she is in trouble, and letting uh, the parents know that you've got a plan and that uh, you can work together and here's their role and this is your role and this is how you're going to track progress or uh, communicate effectively to you uh, to help the students succeed. Uh, this is really a critical one and um, it's important uh, for parents to know that there is a their big share of responsibility in this as well and that that plan includes them as a stakeholder and as a participant um, and I think sharing that plan and sharing common goals will go a long way uh, in in helping uh, helping you engage uh, parents effectively um, all right so I don't know when you guys were just tuning in um, if you haven't seen um, haven't been uh, looking at this uh, we were talking about 10 uh, 10 messages every teacher should share with parents, and these are the learnings from Class Tag's most engaged classrooms. This is what teachers are sharing, and it's a great, great, uh, um, you know, impact. Uh, we see that uh, they get 100% um, participation and that um, they get uh, amazing response from parents. So, um, other thing I wanted to talk about, um, are there other messages uh, that any of you are sharing with parents and you find that they're really important? Keep the hearts coming. That's fantastic. <laughs> um, are there other messages that uh, you find are important to share with parents and perhaps we haven't talked uh, about them? 
what's been working for you. All right. Um, so another important thing is uh, how you communicate, right? The key thing here is, um, is of course, um, system um, and the frequency of that system. Um, excellent, Danielle. <laughs> how important it is to say how much you care. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And I think being, um, I think it's a, it's an interesting balance about, between sort of being emotional and being loving and, uh, and being, um, uh, and being professional. And I think the emotions really come through and parents appreciate, um, uh, caring. Yes, absolutely. Um, absolutely. Thank you for sharing. Awesome. So moving on to uh, moving on to how, right? So I think consistency is the key word here, right? System or consistency, whatever you want to say, right? So if parents know that you have um, you have a you know weekly summary or um, other frequency of communication. Um, it's really critical to to keep that going on repeatable basis and i think this is where uh, tools uh, such as class tag are really a great time saver and uh, danielle and rebecca let me know uh, but um, i think that getting a weekly summary out with your custom message and highlighting some of the victory victories and key learning moments is an amazing way to create that repeatability and that consistency in communication. Um, and of course, um, another aspect of that is activating your community and helping um, if you have active room parents or um, several parents that are active, helping uh, them uh, sort of um, activate that community and support each other in the classroom. Uh, they can uh, do so by let's say sharing photos uh, from a field trip they um, attended they can just upload it uh, right into the photo gallery on class tag um, it's also great to um, if you have a room parent that you trust to have them organize um, activities um, and uh, activate the community let them know about some school activities that are happening um, it's um, it's really great to feel that you have the community working together and it's really um it creates this amazing connection uh between uh, everyone involved including of course uh, kids who um can build a stronger friendship who can um have a more meaningful time with each other outside of the classroom and that all contributes to sort of better community better learning better social skills and things uh things like that um I'm seeing Danielle is sharing um, weekly announcements on Monday. Yes, this is a great one with this color of the week. Excellent. Yes. Uh, so this is a great practice, and thank you for reminding me. Um, so what uh, what Danielle is talking about is she's sharing announcement every Monday with uh, with the parents in the class, highlighting who's the scholar who. Uh, read uh, most books that week and that's really uh, annoying for parents uh, if uh, their scholar never makes it to the list uh, on the list um, and then she's highlighting the scholar of the week with the nice picture and the little crown um, and uh, this is super super motivating uh, for uh, for parents uh, for parents to see and I think that goes straight to uh, our message number one, uh, which was about uh, sharing successes um, of the students. Um, and um, one, uh, one last thing I wanted to say is that if you head over to Class Tag blog, you can find, um, you can find uh, the blog post and I will link it up in the comments as well. Uh, 10 messages every teacher should uh, send to parents and um, excellent um, all right and I see great feedback coming uh, 
from Rebecca about pinning announcement when it is a quick weekly reminder, um, and then um, parents reading more, um, yes, with their scholars, yeah, absolutely. And I think that creates a great competition uh, for parents um, and um, um, sort of trying to trying to get on that announcement. It really it's really is working. Um, and uh, my daughter just now told me she uh, she read fifteen books today. So maybe she'll make it one day. <laughs> Um, and um, I um, really appreciate your time today. If you um, if you haven't checked out our blog, it has ton and ton of stuff. We try to keep it very practical to help you with communications, creating parent partnership in the community. Um, if there is one topic that you would love to learn about, please write it in the comments. Um, and uh, or um, you can always uh, you can always reach out to team at classtag.com. Uh, we love feedback and we always looking forward to to hearing from you. Um, and certainly, if you um, if you are interested in improving parent uh, parent engagement and parent communication, yes, uh, all the hearts go to Classtag and. Um, and uh, of course, the amazing teachers that use it. Uh, at the end of the day, there is no technology that can substitute amazing educators and um, and um, and students and parents who who um, willing to to help uh, students succeed. Um, uh, thank you so much for your time, and um, I'll see you next week. We we are starting our weekly.